Tai Chi Chuan originated from China is nowadays becoming a form of exercise popular all over the world. Why people like Tai Chi Chuan? Because this is not merely a form of sports. It's some, something very well reflected the Taoist idea, Xing Ming Shuang Xiu, to cultivate both physically and spiritually. Very true that in Tai Chi Chuan, um, we see it's a very good combination of the physical movement and inner peace and tranquility. What is Tai Chi? Tai Chi itself is a philosophical term. In Chinese character, one more dot than Da, than big. So it means very big, supreme. Ji in here means principle. So Tai Chi can mean a supreme principle, a great principle. Or it's very similar to the way talked talk of by Lao Tzu. So this is the great way, the universal law. From this, we can perceive uh, Tai Chi Chuan, this kind of exercise, <coughs> waving our body, moving our body. It's not merely a form of a physical uh, movement. Uh, in doing this, this is like the practicer, the dialogue between practitioners and the universe. So this is something combined internally and externally, a good balance of body and mind. In doing Tai Chi, we have the balance of yin and yang. So when you do a movement like here, if you ask what's next, so next, so from the high position going down. Then when this right hand, it's okay, it's okay. So you can cancel that. Yeah. But that can be an interesting one. <laughs> Good balance of something formal and informal. <laughs> yeah, in Tai Chi Chuan, uh, it's always about uh, something in a best situation. When we say best, perfect, we mean the good balance of a yin and a yang. See, we require firm grounding, solidity, but at the same time, we emphasize sun, uh, relaxation. So on the basis of a solidity, whole body we keep relaxed. And we have rise and we have, you know, going down. We have backward, we have forward. We have defend, defense, we have uh, attack. Inhale, exhale, full, empty. And uh, left, right, up and down, internal, external. By using yin yang balance, we can strengthen our health physically and uh, spiritually. You know, spiritually we mean a good state of mind, balanced mind, to learn the virtue, to be like water. You know, we can be stay very calm, whatever happened to, to us. When we talk about uh, the origin of Tai Chi Chuan, we first uh, we first talk about the Tai Chi. The term Tai Chi very early you know, comes from Yi Jin, the I Ching, and then also talked by Zhuang Zi, another great philosophical sage. And as this idea combined with martial arts, you know, this is uh, not something happened very instantly. Rome is not built in one day. Very beginning, people just compete simply by the, the weight or the strength. But if you, you can have uh, 100 kg, the other might have you know, overcome you by 150. So if you are 180 meter high, the other guy can be even surpass you. So what's the end? Then the martial artist in the history of martial arts, they just ponder and think about this. There should be additional, there is something else, smart, clever, not necessarily compete just simply by weight, by height, by strength, by speed. There, this is another new angle. Uh, we say to overcome hardness with softness. Hu uh, Fa just uh, not really compete speed. Sometimes 
uh, if you just stay calm to see the opponent's move. So, not necessarily the fast is good, not necessarily the hard is good. So in Tai Chi, we simply offer a new way of thinking. So, Rome is not built in one day, yes. Uh, quite early already there is the idea related uh, the connection between that thought and uh, Tai Chi. Until 600 years ago, <coughs> in Wuda Mountains, in the Taoist temple, the famous Taoist priest Zhang Sanfeng, he ob observed the fight between the snake and um, magpie. He was very much enlightened from that, and he created the Tai Chi Chuan. So me, as a years persis persistent practitioner of Tai Chi, I have found immense benefit from it. And here, I also sincerely wish you uh, can get benefit from it. I wish you good luck in the journey to Tai Chi. So I hope you enjoyed that quick introduction to Tai Chi. Now, I'm very happy to announce that Master Gu's online course is finally on Udemy. This took me such a long time. I managed to finish the whole course, editing the whole thing, and then deleted my hard drive, so lost everything. So Master Gu and I had to re-record the whole thing and edit it. And for the last week, I've been trying to upload it, but the mountain Wi-Fi is so slow that it just hasn't been working. So anyway, it's up now. I'm really excited to share it with you. So the course split into two parts. First of all, theory. That's all the principles needed to make powerful, peaceful, and beautiful Tai Chi. And then secondly, there's the practical side. So you'll be learning the Wudang 8 form, it's a great form for beginners and I hope you really enjoy it. Included is a guide of all the basic principles and that's a really useful way of learning. So once you learn the basic moves, I recommend then you look at the guide and focus on one of the principles each time. So for example, saying leading the movement from your waist, focus on that when you're doing the form and then focus on another thing, say your stability. So make sure that your heels aren't coming off the ground, stuff like that. So if you focus on each one of these things, then over time it will just become natural and your subconscious will learn it. But that's the thing with Tai Chi, it may look easy, but in fact there's so much coordination to everything. It takes a while for your brain to process these things, you know, it's taken me six months to get to an okay level. So check out the link below. Please use the coupon code which is next to the link because if you don't use that coupon code then we only get 50% of the money whereas if you use the coupon code we get 97% and there's also a discount for all of you channel subscribers. So you can't say that we don't love you. Okay, well thanks for considering it. There's no pressure to buy it but anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon.